Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today I'm painting an aster with you and we are gonna work with a reusable teaching guide, which is gonna help you paint the strokes right on top of my actual stroke size. We also are going to use our favorite folk art multi-surface paint. We have wicker white, cobalt hue, moon yellow, and sap green. We're also going to be using uh, 12, these are one stroke brushes, 12 flat, a half inch scruffy, and a two script liner. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's look at the strokes that you're gonna stroke on top of. This has a sealer on it, so as you're stroking, I want you to wipe it off with a wet paper towel or a baby wipe. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna to explain to you exactly when you're looking at the guide, the colors that we use and the brush that we're gonna be using to do this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the wicker white we're gonna go in between wicker white and cobalt blue. And then we're gonna to come to the side over here. This is the double loader. So this helps you, you know, picking up here, going back and forth. Now you can use a two script liner for this, but I think you'll like the feel of this. We're gonna go two thirds full here. We're gonna to touch here and we're going to pull straight down. Now, one thing that will help you is I put these arrows here so you can space it out. And when you space it out like this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, it's gonna help you see the shape that you want. And then as soon as you, see, I'm gonna go pick up a little bit more. And soon as you get that spacing, then I'm gonna just make little strokes in between. Okay, all the way around and we're gonna stay on the chisel. So here's the chisel of the brush. So what you're gonna do is touch, pull, touch, pull, all the way around. Now you will see that I left space there and it is important that you have the length so that when you put this big center inside, it's gonna take up a lot of the petal length, okay? You also will come over here and put these little guys right in here. And sometimes I get a little bit more white and then put some on top. And those are the little buds. So let's get started and put, we're gonna take first and wipe this off so that you keep this really nice reusable teaching guide clean because our paint our multi-surface paints made to stay on really well <laughs> all right so i'm going to come back here and i'm going you can move the paint over just a little bit if you need to pick up your color and i'm going to decide where i want this um, the flowers to be so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come around here like i shared with you okay and then you're gonna, that gives you the length and the shape, and then you're gonna go in between. It's okay to turn too. People always ask me, can you turn your surface? All the way around. Okay, so now we're going to pick up some of our green. I'm gonna come back and do the center of the flower after I have put the green in, given the blue a chance to dry some, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up 
with a flat brush that's 12 flat we're going to pick up we're going to split the brush in half picking up the moon yellow and the sap green so if i want it a little lighter i just pick up just the moon yellow and work it in and remember you can always go over and pick a second another color to be on the yellow side all right and that'd be wicker white now what i want to do is we're going to practice on here again on your reusable teaching guide we're going to put a stem first now with the chisel and see my finger we're going to come straight down we're going to push and lift now watch this as we push here we push lighter here and then we lift up to the chisel push and lift up to the chisel and try it both ways as you're practicing okay and you can see this is how actually it feels when you paint on glass or ceramic non non porous surfaces so see that so i'm just practicing that and then this is what you want to do right here we can chisel and push if we want to come down but you can also pick up on your two script liner these colors and you can come up and then back down all right right here in your loader up and then oops up and then down all right right here you're going to see we're going to grab the bud and pull down and then we'll have these little greenery pieces coming all in here so practice those and feel comfortable before you go and paint on your peas okay so here we go so i'm going to pick up the paint right in the cubby that's already been loaded grab short little strokes all right then what we're going to do is we're going to take and put push and lift strokes into this bouquet this is going to be a round design Okay, then we're going to take our little liner, add a few little highlights on here, those little teeny pieces. Always make sure this is right in front of you. It helps you see what you're going to do and remind you of what you did. So we're going to come down here. All right, now. The finishing touch is the center. So we're going to take, this is a um, scruffy brush, natural hairs. Don't, you'll notice that I wet these brushes, laid them on the paper towel. On this brush, we're not going to wet before we start. We're going straight into the paint color. So I'm going to come over here and tap on the edge of the paint puddle. And then come over here on the edge of the paint puddle. Okay, so moon yellow and wicker white and you'll see here I can do them all at one time or I can do the yellow first and then put the white the moon yellow and the wicker white all right so let's go right over here and show you how easy this is all right let's start with mostly moon yellow now what you're going to do is you're going to pounce and take and be tight to the flower so we don't get too big and we're going to turn this around okay and we'll do this this is a smaller one so we're going to tap tap real tight real tight now we're going to pick up some white and we're going to just tap to give it some detail and we're going to now take a little bit i'll show you right here a little bit of cobalt and we're going to do the bottom area to give it a little bit of depth
I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stroke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.